Hey there, Wargamers. Justin, our painter from Death Resigns, and uh, today Bob has come out, and he's going to uh, be playing a game of Warmer 40k with me. We're going to be playing 1500 points with my Dark Angels versus his Eldar, and hopefully his Eldar trickery does not uh, trickery all over me. That sounds really stupid, but we're going to see what happens. All right, for my Dark Angels today, I have a, what is it, Battalion? Battalion? I think so. Whatever the smaller detachment is, so we've got a unit of Space Marine Bros, just nine guys this time. I dropped the heavy weapon for points. Uh, with combi plas and plasma gun. No power sword because I actually forgot he had it. We've got a las pa plas razorback with storm bolter. We got a five man unit of black knights supporting brother Azrael and uh, brother Nabil here. We got a six man scout squad. Point fillers. I had enough points for one extra bro. Eversor assassin is going to come in and try and butcher some Eldar peeps. Another unit of Tactical Bros, outfitted like the first one. And the tried and true unit of Hellblasters. And that is my just under 1,500 points of Dark Angels Plus Assassin. All right, Bob, so you wanna walk me through what you got today? Uh, well, today I've changed it up a little bit for the Eldar. There are no bikes and no airplanes. Um, two units of Rangers, standard unit of Dark Reapers that have done so much work. A Wave Serpent with the cannons, Autark with wings, my newly finished Farseer. Very pretty. Um, Spirit Seer, unit of sort, Axon Board, Wraith Guard, Guardian Blob, normal kit. And then I've also got a Warwalker. He actually has the cannons and not the star cannons on him today. People, denizens of YouTube, as Bob would say, anyone who's not an Eldar fan, I don't know the difference between the other guns and these guns. So he would have to tell me anyway. Um, and then a Fire Prism. We got Bob's 1,500 points. For today's supplement type, we are running, uh, I believe it's Dawn of War, so this way, going that way. So you can see, my guys are kind of turtled up, as usual. Bob's stuff's back there. He's got some things in reserves and deep strike. This little bro is in his version of uh, deep strike. And we are playing the Visions of Victory mission today, where we have both selected six objectives we don't want. So somewhere in that box. Uh, for mine, and his are in the warp, and those objectives will not be generated at the start of the turn. We would generate two, and our opponent, the lovely Bob, in this case for me, uh, will be picking one of my objectives that will get discarded, and one that I will have to attempt to achieve, and I believe we do that every turn, and then we just uh, see who scores. We'll have the same normal um, victory things. Was it first strike? First strike, slay the lore, warlord, and line breaker. Yeah, so we'll be doing that, and... Uh, do you want to seize the initiative? Because he, he won the roll off, so he chose the map and the side. He left me here. I deployed first. And now is the big decision. Boom, boom, boom. That is the face of a man who's yeah, really excited to murder stuff. I got a five, so that's a no. Ha ha! All right, so we'll be back with Dark Angels turn one. All right, so going to Dark Angels turn one, uh, we're not super sure on exactly how this mission works, so someone on YouTube link, let us know. Uh, it says to generate four objectives at the start of a turn. If you don't have four, we're starting the game, so we do not have four. And it says every time you generate an objective gener to generate two, and your opponent chooses one of those that gets discarded. In this case, uh, uh, if, I, if, if we're on the right page, I believe we're going to generate four to start the game, and then we'll start doing the generate two per generation and discard one after we've started scoring. Is that what we agreed to? Yes. Okay, so that's what we're gonna do for the sake of time and speed. So we're gonna go ahead and generate my first four and see what we got. So we have a secure objective four. His Eldar boys over there holding that. We've got no prisoners, which I don't have too many targets I can shoot at, so Eldar boys holding objective. Got a big target on them. Uh, overwhelming firepower, score and victory point if an enemy unit was destroyed during the shooting phase of your turn. That goes really well with no prisoners. And secure objective three. Sweet. All right, so now we've got our objectives generated. We're gonna get into the Dark Angel movement phase and we'll be back. All right, so we've got our movement done. Uh, I advanced from my bikers up here. Boop, 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 boop. Uh, Brother Nabil and Azrael have advanced barely. Uh, Azrael got a two, so he moved eight. Nabil got a one, so he moved seven. My Hellblasters got a one in advance, so they barely hopped mm, just over half the unit uh, up on the building here. Razorbacks uh, moved forward, did not advance. This little bro's not actually on the table. And, um, they still have people in them, yes. Yes, there are two or uh, nine uh, tactical marines in each one of these rhinos. Yep. Um, 
the scouter boys up here, I rolled a one for advance, which I did not roll to see if I get my or my tactical, not tactical, my command point back. I did. All right, cool. So we're squared off. Um, anyways, back on topic. Uh, we had to determine how we would traverse this train because it's not quite three inches per level the way this was designed. I rolled a five for an advance um, with their six inch move. Bob and I kind of agreed that six inches to this platform and then five up seemed reasonable. They're not quite onto the objective. Six inches on the advance might have done it, but if he doesn't kill him next turn, I'm good to go for getting secure objective three. This turn, uh, most of my firepower is probably not shooting much except trying to move around here and do some things because there's an objective I can get to. Uh, but before we do that, I have a psychic phase. And I need to determine what I can actually cast these things on. So let's see here. I don't know if I'm in range of smite. I am not in range to deny. Okay. Um, let's see here. Hmm. Smite's what, 18 inches? Yes. Okay. Uh, well, let's go ahead and attempt to throw off a smite here. Two dice? Yeah. Yeah. I knew that, you two. All right, so let's go ahead and throw off a smite. The uh, ranger boys are the closest enemy, so here we go. It is definitely cock. Come here. I got a six. I think it requires a five. It does. It does. And you, uh, you said you had no one in range? Yeah, I can't deny it. All right, here we go. I got a two. And what is it, D3? Yeah, it's D3 mortal wounds. Um, Do I want to reroll that? Bob, do I want to reroll that? I got a 66% chance of going up. Yeah, let's command point reroll that. So drop me down to eight command points now. Here we go. Same thing. Poof. So one little boy. One little Eldar man. Okay. Um, ooh, I still have one more power before I get to shooting. Uh, we're going to cast Righteous Repugnance on this tank. Because it just says Dark Angel's unit. Mm -hmm. So my tank's going to get real angry and charge in and do things. Why not? Um, not with the five, it's not. Oh, okay. Never mind. It's the way it is. Um, I think I could see this dude from there, barely. Your tank, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah nothing else, because, yeah, this guy could have saw this one, but he's dead. That's so, why and they I moved it. Um, all right, so let's go ahead and start some shooting with a lot tank here. Um, it is in rapid fire range for the bolter. So that is four dice, I believe. Yeah, because it's... It's twin bolts or so. Yeah. It's, it's Two four. rapids for. Okay. We're in rapid fire range for the plasma. And it's got a last can. All right. Storm bolter. Go. They are in cover, so I have a two plus two to my save. There are, they're not in area terrain. Oh, okay. Yeah, so, so they would be line of sight blocking. Oh. Um, so I got four hits. That's your dice. Um, wounding on threes. Just straight four shots. Yeah. We got two so far. Um, plasma boros, no overcharge because there's no reason to do so. Um, we roll the one. I actually forgot to re-roll the, the storm bolters because Azrael, but I will not go back. So plasma's hit. Wounded on twos because strength set. All right, so we got two on that, and then the last cannon, which hits on fours because that moved because it's heavy. That hits twos. All right, so you have two armor saves and uh, three AP minus a bunch and minus two. No, oh, three. Okay, well, the armor saves failed. Were there only three left? No, you killed one mm -hmm. and then another one. Then there were two more and with all the other crap from your... Yeah, okay, the, yeah. The, all right, so I did get first strike which is good, but I didn't. I shouldn't have shot all that AP because I was going to charge you and get on top of objective, and now I'm not. All right, so on that note, YouTube land, there's no charges this turn. Um, I think it's during the shooting phase I pop smoke. He shot, he'll smoke. You're probably going to shoot the near one anyway, but um, So we're not getting three, we're not getting four. No prisoners. I killed a unit, and I killed no one. So I'll score those two. That'll put me at three. 
And I think that's going to put us going into your turn, Bob. Okay, cool. Eldar, turn one. What you got for me, Bob? Uh, well, so for objectives, I actually had to generate five because I pulled priority orders, which requires me to generate another objective, which was secure objective four. And apparently only my warlord can do that. He is in my tank. I could get him over there, but this seems a bad. Four is our yeah. current killing field and my tactical mess up where I should have not shot all the plasma. <laughs> Then I scored Psychological Warfare, um, Witch Hunter, which means I have to kill Brother Nabil. You used and, his name! And then Mission Critical Objective, which I'm going to generate now to see if I get a point. Five. Where is five? Over there. Okay. In no man's land, because no man's over in that land. So nobody's got it. Um, and that will be all of the objectives, and then we will see what happens uh, here in a minute. All right, folks, so for the Eldar movement, um, pretty much just jockeying for position, get lines of sight to fire. Uh, Dark Reapers, of course, came out here because this is a great kill zone right here. Um, got my fire prism over here so you can see this tank right there. Uh, these dudes popped out, and then I moved the tank to try to block line of sight, or at least the charge lanes for his bikers so that I can move around un unharassed, as it were. Uh, the Rangers stayed inside of their box and I brought in my war walker off the back right there. It has to stay outside of nine, but it is a nice little backline threat for, you know, most anything. It still counts as moving. Yes, I'm outside nine, I measured it. Cheats McGee. Um, and then other than that, uh, we will get on into the psychic phase. What's the range on his guns? His? Mm-hmm. Uh, they're the standard like this, so 24 or something. Now, the reason I ask is my dudes my dudes have a stratagem. I might be able to blast you. Oh, they have a stratagem? Uh, yeah. Uh, I've used on you before. Uh, 24 inches. Yes. Are you planning to try and charge me? No. Okay, I believe I could use this because I think anytime something comes onto the table, it's generally considered as reinforcements. Um, mm -hmm. Deep strike, summoning, and I'm assuming this is that way. He's within 12, I could totally shoot him with those. Would you want to be at like 12.01? Yes. So, okay, yeah, that makes the most sense, so I can't shoot him. All right, let's move some objectives. I'm going to do some tactical shenanigans here. 12 inches is roughly here. All right, so that should be. Yeah. Okay, should be close. If he comes back, we need to do a charge and he's not quite exactly right, we'll fix it, but I think that's fine. All right. Can't shoot you. All right, and on the psychic phase then. It's probably a good idea because I think some rapid fire plasma talents overcharged would have been a little bit brutal. Oh uh, yeah, it might be. I think uh, they take negative one to hit on the turn they do that though. That makes sense. Uh, it is minus one, yeah. But Far Seer is going to attempt to put guide on the unit of uh, Dark Reapers. Do it. Uh, yeah. He Ten. Hath succeeded. Well, you're in range to deny, I think. Uh, was it 24? Yeah. You are now in range to deny because I moved up. So I rolled a 10. And guide lets him what? Reroll? Reroll all failed hits. What powers does he have left? Uh, Doom and Smite. And Doom requires line of sight? Yes. Smite's 18. It so doesn't say within, doesn't say a line of sight on the card. Smite, yeah, yeah, but. No, uh, Doom doesn't say smite, line of sight on the card. What does it say? Aiming to get within 24 inches of the Psyker. Interesting. And Doom is. Reroll re failed wound saves. Hmm. Carry on. Doom seems scarier than okay. God, since you hit on threes anyway. All right. Uh, does Smite require line of sight? I don't think so. Closest visible enemy unit. Yes, it does. Fair enough. All right. Um, try to put Doom on him. Uh, Doom does go off with an eight. All right, camera. We're rolling. Down we go. Will I deny? Um, quick, Bob, look over there. I got <laughs> a, something. No, I didn't. <laughs> um, this Psyker will attempt to put protect protect on the uh, dudes here. Was that a uh, plus one saves? Plus one saves. If they have a four up invuln, it would be a three up invuln. Brutal. So trying that. Warp charge seven. It goes off. 
It's <sighs> psychic phases, folks. They are not my thing. Um, and that will be the end of that. Since I don't have anybody in range to smite anything, or anything in line of sight to smite anything. Shooting phase. What we got? Then. Um, Tanky Poo here is going to shoot at Dude. Don't do it. Uh, he can shoot twice because he moved under half speed or at half speed. Okay. Do, do, do. No, wait, I left him with the regular things, which are range 12. You are out of 12, so don't worry about that one. So the fire prism, he's going to shoot uh, focused. What's it? What's the toughness on him? Uh, seven or eight. It is a seven. It's a seven. Okay. So for the strength of six, I would need five Correct. to wound you. Okay. Um, we're gonna do. Uh, yeah, the strength eight. If you got, it's probably. We're gonna do better. the strength nine shot, which nine. is D three shots, and I'm gonna shoot it twice. So five. Five. Not bad. You got a little bit above average. Mid. Uh, I got a one and two, so three of them hit. Wounding on threes. One wound. Uh, did you cast Doom? Uh, no, Doom was on this unit. You pick a unit that gives Doom or you, you Doom an enemy model? I'm sorry, I Doom an enemy unit, so I should have picked an enemy unit. I'm assuming it's the right Razorback. Yeah, it would have been the Razorback. Yeah, so roll so, those two. Roll those again. Got so. one. Uh, it's a two. What's the AP negative? Uh, four. Uh, so I have a three, four, five, six. Yeah, so nothing. Yeah. Straight damage. So D3 damage. Uh, four damage. Um, out of curiosity, would you have wanted to command point reroll your wound? No, because you can't reroll a reroll. Okay, nope. disregard. So four damage? Yep, four damage. Okay. You have taken four. Off he goes. Boop. Uh, dude here is going to shoot at him. I do not expect him to survive the Dark Reapers. Terrible. Strength six. So, vibes. No, strength six versus tough. No, you're seven. That's right. Mm -hmm. And reroll your fails. Which is actually pretty good. Pretty good. Nope. It's a two. Still failed. Any AP? No. Here we go, folks. Here we go. Bob, I'm gonna trust you to, to see this. So I don't throw the camera. Here we go. Brother Nabil. How dare you cock on that guy's face? Yeah, of course you would. He have passed one. He have failed one. Mm-hmm. All of the rangers are gonna shoot at him. Don't do it. So only one missed. Now, on sixes, it's a mortal wound in addition. Correct. But I still need like five, six, well, let's see. There's strength four, yeah, so five sixes to wound you. Mm -hmm. So I got two sixes. Reroll. And nothing. So, right, so two, mortals. two mortals and then two regular no AP modifiers. So he's down, he's, uh, has seven on him. Two, here we go. Uh, he fell both, oh wow. my God. All right, well, there we go. He's got one life left. All of that, and I only got him down to one. Okay. Probably should open up with the Dark Reapers first. Well, I had a plan. Obviously, the plan to not survive contact with the enemy, but I did have a plan. Uh, Rhino alrighty. almost did good things. Um, three Dark Reapers are going to shoot the tank. Mm -hmm. Now, the tank is in the way of everybody else. Except for your Hellblasters back there. Or the other tank. Yeah, he has an extra save. It, it's negative to hit. Negative to hit. Okay. You hit Which on threes. I would hit on threes anyway. Yeah, it's mostly to save him from the fire prison. Yeah. Hellblasters do have an invuln save, for the record. Yeah, and I can't get Jenks on him. Okay. So three into this dude, and then everybody else. The uh, higher strength shot? Um. Yes, because okay. the others are strength five, so that would need too much. So the three into this tank. Yep, let's do it. One hit. You can do it. What's the I'll strength? I'll command point this. That hits. What's the strength on these? Eight. 
Okay. My command point at a hit yep, roll. Yep. Yep. So um, threes to wound. So threes to wound. Rerolling fail. All right, both. What's the AP minus? Uh, two. All right, so three uh, wounds apiece. Um, let's see what he's sitting as on his last profile. Uh, so his armor is not modified. So you said it's minus two, so four five. I have two five ups. Two five ups. Here we go. Emperor protect me. Oh, 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 oh! You guys gotta see it to believe it. It's unbelievable. He have lived. I'm sorry, Bob. Yeah, it happens. It's ridiculous. Then the other Dark Reapers into that dude. The other tank. Yep. Watch this one's gonna get murderized. That one was cocked. Okay, that's one. We already used command point. They all hit. Strength eight. Yep. Um. Uh, all but one. Oh yeah, you didn't doom that one. Okay. I didn't doom that one. All right. So how many? So that's four at minus two, and it'll be three damage a piece. All right. Let's. I'm gonna I'm gonna pan the camera down this time because last time I didn't, and I got an amazing roll. Uh, this time, here's the four dice. I'm gonna roll that crap here. Four five ups. <laughs> they all fail. So that's twelve damage in total. That's correct. Let's see if he explodes. Please explode. He doesn't. Damn it. Thank God. All right, so you do get first strike. All right. uh, and my dudes get out, what, three inches from that tank? Yes. All right, so let's grab some tactical bros and they get out of the tank. And while you do that, I'm gonna spend a command point, fire and fade with my Eldar dudes. Oh, those tricky little turds. <sighs> okay. Well, actually, me, I think they get out before it comes off. I think I made that mistake in a battle report. Yes, someone it gets on, out before it comes off because of space. And, and someone on YouTube was like, uh, Justin, you cheated Bob. How did you do that to him? And I was like, I'm sorry. And, I everybody, and everybody but Bob is like, whatever. Okay, here we go. Dig in out. You blew up their Lamborghini. I'm not very happy about it. They can get over it. Alright. Take it back to Mars, and the tech priests are going to be like, Why'd you scratch the paint? Jeez. Alright, anything else we got here? Um, the dude over there is going to shoot at your biker bros. Mm, he can see them. I know that. Yeah. Okay, fair enough. I, I was going to see. If I he don't think it. he can see the tank. He can't. This pillar happens to be right in the way. Yeah. Um, otherwise, if he I... could see the tank, I would totally shoot the yep. tank. But I would too. Since he cannot see the tank. Here we go. Uh, okay, this fail. All right, strength six. Uh, toughness five, so four, threes. Uh, two wounds. One's at minus three AP. Uh, any other AP on the other one? No. no All right, normal. so we have an invuln save. Fail. Um, is this one damage? Yes, one damage piece. And armor save, which passes. So we have a wounded bro. Who wants the wound? Um, I think we're putting on the gray launcher. It's usually the, the fodder to die. Okay. All right. And yeah, that's it. Uh. So, I mean, before I we could, end, could charge my tank yes, into your tank. That's not a bad idea. If you want to kill it. Well, I could tie it up, but so it can't shoot. I mean, it's it's on its last profile anyway. It could overwatch you, though. Well, with sixes, but. All right, we my tank is going to charge your tank. Okay. Because uh, I think that would be funny. Well, I ain't got much life left, Bob. Um, do I want to overcharge on you? That's a good decision that I need to know. Um, huh. Uh, uh, uh. My gut instinct says overcharge, Bob. That's what we're going to do. So you're going to overcharge. We're going to overcharge. Okay. All right. So let's get some things popping. All right. So let's start out with Storm Bolters, Rapid Fire Rage. Hitting on sixes, reroll from Azzy. Nothing. Oh, wait, 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 wait. What? I forgot a rule. What'd you forget? But I had to do it when he activated, so go ahead anyway. Well, what did you forget? I can overcharge my serpent shield, and on 2 plus, nearest visible enemy unit suffers 
D3 mortal wounds. But I had to have done it before all this, so go ahead. All right, uh, overcharging plasma. I got two sixes reroll. Here's why I roll some one. I didn't. I got two twos, but I got two sixes. I'll take that. Okay. And the last cannon. Here it is. Reroll. There was a one. No sixes. All right. So it's just strength eight, toughness what? Uh, seven. So wounded on threes. You reduce damage by one. Uh, it got one through, uh, or one save, AP minus three. Okay. So six up. Not a save. Ha <laughs> How much damage? One. Because so, you reduced it to one. Nope. Spirit stones didn't save it. So one. Time Razorback did something. Yes, it did. Charge seven inches should get me to you. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Oh, yeah. yeah. Ah. <laughs> Carry on. Weed Amp Services would request that everyone please play nicely with all terrain and not instantly try to murderize it. Yeah, not murderizing terrain is a good idea. All right, I get three attacks. And I'm hitting you on sixes, I think. Do it. Yeah, six plus. Nothing. All right. Um, how many attacks do I get back, Bob? It's uh, a miraculous thing. Um, guess who only gets one? I'm going to guess you. Me. Here it is. We're going to roll the DRD dice. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, just kidding. Uh, uh, oop, I got a reroll from Azzy. The first mm -hmm. one was cocked. All right, here it is. We're going to six. Da -da 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 -da. Uh, nope. Uh, oh, my God. It was a one again. All right, well. That was the clash. anticlimactic. It was. Now, it didn't happen this way. But if it had, if your little melee bros were in it, they'd be in a really good spot. Yes, but they're not. So it's true. it is what it is. <laughs> Fair enough. It is what it is. So, charges are done, other things are done, did you score any objectives? Uh, you didn't take a psych test, or did, they didn't lose anybody, right? They did not. Okay. Nope, 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 you didn't, want didn't. To pitch anything. Uh, yeah, priority orders is out the window, so is secure objective four. And that's the one that came with it, yeah? Yes. Okay. So, so I think they should go together. That is correct. All right, so uh, we're getting ready to go into Dark Angels turn two. All right, so going into Dark Angels turn two, uh, I have generated some objectives and we generated two for each one I generated and Bob picked one for me to discard. Um, I picked up Big Game Hunter and Behind Enemy Lines. He uh, chose to have me keep Big Game Hunter because I have to work hard for that one. Behind Enemy Lines is easily attained because my assassin can come in this turn, so I had to pitch that one. And then I pulled Defend Objective 4 and not one step back because Objective 4 is here and I'm really close to getting to it to hold it. He has had me pitch that one. And for you guys in YouTube land and Twitch land, I'm I covering my eyes. I mean, my eyes are covered. For not one step back, and we're here. I picked this one. So that's what I picked. Um, I think that's going to be a reasonable amount to try and achieve for not one step back. So, on that note, so we're going to have to get into some movement and then we'll be back after that. It is also worth noting he still has his bros in here, and I didn't want them just camping out. I do still have bros in there, and they're. Probably not going to camp. I don't think they get shot at a camping adventure. Hopefully. If you get shot at a camping adventure, you might be camping in the wrong place. Or in the right place, just not properly equipped. Fair enough. All right, so we've done some movements here, and uh, we're going to get into some things where I uh, accidentally cheated above, but I'll explain in a second. Uh, so I've gone ahead and moved tactical bros forward, or uh, shifted to the right a little bit, moved the razor back, the thing there, back. Uh, he can only move three, so he barely was able to disengage because he is really messed up. Um, these bro bros, boys, these tactical boys got out, got on the objective. A couple of those could uh, get some angles on the Dark Reapers, not a lot. Um, Hellblasters moved up and forward. Nabil and Azrael moved forward. I'm concerned about this Warwalker just hauling ass and coming in behind me. Moved. Yeah, moved. <laughs> um, these guys moved forward to secure objective three, I think it is up yep. there, which I'm holding, which is good. Um, and my little assassin boy came in into the back over there, and Bob was nice and informed me that he has his version of Auspex, which is why his Warwalker backed up. Um, he could have shot at my uh, assassin with the Dark Reaper, so I hit him a little bit. His charge is 3d6 instead of 2, so it's a little bit harder, but I'd rather not die. Um, but I 
think you might be intercepting him with something. Um, I've still got forewarned. I can shoot him with my Psyker, Singing Spear, and his pistol. So the spear hits on a two, pistol hits on two. The pit. Two command points? Yes, two command points. Um, so, and the spear does D3 wounds, so if I spike, I might do some decent damage to yeah. him. So he's going to try um, and do something to me, um, but uh, before we get into any of that, I uh, am going to apologize to you guys, and I've already, I think, said sorry to Bob. Um, when I built my list at 2.15 this morning, when I got home from the shop, it's AM, um, I initially had two 10-man tactical squads and two Razorbacks, and normally combat squad put HQs in them. In my haste to make a list before I went to bed, I dropped the two plasma cannons, can't combat squad tactical bros, therefore nine of them can't get in a Razorback unless they're orcs, and they are not. And we didn't realize that I did that until he blew them up and we were already in the game. There's not a real easy way to rectify that, um, so we've played it out as is, uh, but I do apologize because we caught that screw up. So someone undoubtedly in YouTube land is probably are just vigorously like, eh, cheater! And they probably did it before I said anything, but I owed up to it. Mistakes happen. And I feel bad because that thing rolled double fives last turn and didn't die. But the last thing's happened. Yep. you want to intercept me now, buddy? Yep, we're going to do that. So I've already spent my command points. I'm down to four. So here's the to hit. I hit you with the spear. Get a different dice. Wound you on a two plus. You are wounded. Okay. Uh, there is no, I don't think there's an AP. It wouldn't matter. I believe you no said AP. Anyway. Yeah, so see if you save. Uh, yeah. So four up, invuln save. Here we go. Here we go, assassin bro. He good. And then the other gun will hit. What's his touch? It won't wound. Okay. All right, That's so those, those are my two command points. Well spent, not really. Uh, how much damage does the single spear do? Uh, D3, so I could have done three. And the pistol does one? Does one, so at best I could have done four. Uh, yeah, that would have um. put him at, uh, if you'd got all that through, he'd have two life left. Mm -hmm. um, all right, so psychic phase. I'm going to go ahead and cast, attempt to cast righteous repugnance on my Biker Bros. Okay. It goes off barely with a seven. Do you want to deny? Yep. It gives me lots of rebels. Uh, denied with a ten. He does. Unfortunately. Um, and I've got two guys to deny with, by the way. Yeah, I'm debating on if I want to smite that or version him. He normally hit on threes? Yes. Are his guns heavy? No, they're the assault guns. Okay, so that would knock him down by half. Or knock him down to 50% uh, instead of 66.6. Um, hmm. Let's smite it up. Here we go. Smite. Give me that 11. Brother Nabil. I can feel it. That ain't going to be an 11. It did go off barely. Uh, see if I can deny, or are you going to change the roll at all of command points? Nope. Okay. He does. He denies. <laughs> Even if I had rerolled one, my best roll would have equaled that, which would have do, but barely. Yeah. Um, all right. So, shooting phase. What do we want to shoot, Bob? Um, Nothing. You wish to go home and rethink your life. I think you're some sort of Jedi. I'm a Troy Darian, only Amani works on me. That's for you nerdy people on YouTube land. <laughs> Two uh, different movies. Name the movies. Play the game, not you. The first one was Phantom Menace. Yeah. Both well, mine was. Just Clone Wars? Yes. Haha! <laughs> Nerd points. I get a victory point. Check. Um, let's start by... Reduced by one, so there's no point even overcharging any of this. Um, well, let's just unload on this with tactical squad number one first. Okay. Um, Going to spend a command point so that all your rolls against him are at minus one. Um, is that everyone or is he picking a unit? Uh, against the target unit. So if you're targeting him, that's what it's going to be on. Okay. Um, all right. And so I assume you're shooting at him. Yes. All right, so the two plasmas, I'm not overcharging, so we're just going to go ahead and get those out of the way. So hitting on fours, we're rolling ones and twos. Ones and twos. Threes won't do it. Um, toughest what? Seven. So wounded on fours. Moth wounds. Wow. Uh, yeah. All right, so we have one grenade, and that'll be six bros left to fire voltage. All 
All right, here we go. The grenade, the higher strength one. Heat, I believe the strength. Oof. I think it's a six. I think. I do. I wouldn't have if it was seven. Bolter Bros! Alright, the threes won't do it. Time to go. Alright. Five sixes to wound. Here we go. Um, well, I mean, I figured out. I think you got, got one? I got one. I figured out what I got, like, two or three. I didn't. All right, field armor save. No. Okay. Um, how many of my tactical bros over there can see Hellblast or see your dark troopers? I'd say four or five. Okay. Um, these two. For sure, five. Five. Oh yeah, th these guys okay, definitely. This this row right here okay. definitely can. Um. Alright, let's say four can see them, and then we'll put the other ones on this, so that'll be two tactical bros and rapid fire, presumably. It looks like they're probably within twelve. Um, and then two plasmas. Yeah, yeah probably. Yeah. Alright, um, get no re-rolls, so let's go ahead and do that. Um, so two plasmas, rapid fire, two regular rapid fire, and hell, or two, you keep calling hell blasters, your dark reapers. And then we'll have six tactical bros into the vehicle. One Cut. will be a grenade. No, excuse me, five into that, so there's nine. Here we go. Threes won't do it. If you're shooting the Dark Reapers, it will. Thank you. Uh, so their toughness is three, correct? Yes. So wounding on twos. I got two through. I rolled two ones. Uh, so AB minus three. Mm, six ups. Boom, boom, boom. No. They tried. All right. Um, so we had what five into the vehicle? No, four into the vehicle and one grenade. That's the correct one. That's nine total. Grenade. Nope. Um, the fours will do it. I have triple sixes. I got one five. You have one save on that scene. Good. Okay. Um, let's do plasma talons into it. Two, four, six, eight. It's two command points, YouTube. I fixed it. All right. Um, and we'll block grenades into it as well. So plasma talons hitting on fours. You're going ones, twos. I'm going to move the trees in a second. All right. Wounded on force. Okay, so you have three AP minus three six. Okay. I made two of them. Well, jeez. So, how much damage? There's one each. Oh, okay, well then, Spirit Stone. Yeah, I didn't overcharge them. There's nope. no reason because you're just reduced by one. Grenades, here we go. We roll in the two. Wounded on fives. It wounds and it does D3. Oh, you roll first and then I do that. Yeah. yeah so What's it? AP minus one. Nope. D3 damage. Three damage. Then it's reduced to two. Made one. All right. Um, Brother Nabil, throw a grenade at the wave circuit. All right. Five sixes. I got it. Carry on. Um, I believe it's AP minus one. It should be the same thing. He's got assault too. Nope. All right, D three. Here we go. Three again. So two. Nope. Whew, that was almost a six. Okay. Um. Azrael, you're at negative one to hit. So you're hitting on threes now instead of twos. Fire both profiles. You're hitting on fours. Only rerolling your ones. Um. Huh. Uh. Azriel will shoot, double tap his plasma. Um. So he'll hit on threes, reroll on ones. 
Okay. This will be wounding on four. No, yeah, four is going to stay. One, negative three. Nope. It's one damage, so you get your spear stones as well. Yep. All right. Um, we are nickel and dime. This can take the whole team. Yes, seven. Okay. Um, raise it back. Get in there. Hitting on bad stuff. He fell back. You're correct. I knew that. Just make sure you do that. Uh, what do the hell blasters want to do? Probably try and finish things up. Go home and rethink their life. Uh, yep. Yeah, you'd like that. I would. What's my measure of this? I don't know. Right in front of you. Can I have it? Thank you. <laughs> I don't think they have range out of anything. But we're going to check it just to see. Uh, no. Yeah, if you're so. measuring vertically as well, then no. Yeah. yeah. Okay, that's still All hard. right. Uh, so, scouts are bros, nothing. Um, and we're assuming he's elevated? Yes. Okay? So, yes. I should be able to see. Yes. Okay. Um, he's got seven left? Yes. Whew. They're in rapid fire range. That's 20 shots. Re rolling. I'm probably, yeah, I don't know. That one's not good. Um, okay, okay. We're not going to overcharge. I, I really feel like I'm going to lose a bunch of dudes in overcharge. Um, so we'll just fire all 20 into them. Non overcharge. It's 2, 4, 6, 8. Um, we're overcharged. And we'll use Weapons of Forgotten Age. I don't want to, we're going to have to. Let's see if I get my, uh, my command point back. Mm -hmm. I don't, so we are down to 7. Alright, so 20, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. Alright, so we'll come over here and roll these two at a time. So they're hitting on 4s because the negative, re-rolling 1s and 2s. So here we go. We'll just go down the line with the front. Okay. All right. That misses technically, but still hits. All right. Whoop. One dead guy. Yay! Sorry. It's all right. I would cheer too. All right. So that was. I think we're on the fourth guy now. Didn't kill himself. Well, the trees you're fishing out of here, Bob. Okay. He's gonna die at this point. I have. I don't disagree with you, but I have seen you roll really stupid with spirit stones. So we'll see what how much damage actually gets through. Um, and the actual reason for overcharging wasn't just the two damage, it's the strength with the wounding, because it goes up to eight. Mm -hmm. um, Alright, so this is what got through. One guy is going to die. We are going to wound on three. No rebuilds. Those wounds, that was one. Okay, so we got uh, two, four, six, eight. We got ten through, which would have been... 30 damage, you're reducing it to 20. So well, each... I get my set. Well, wait, you're four up minus four AP? Mm -hmm. oh, okay, never mind. You don't have an invulnerable save? No. All, All right, so um, then you'll have 20 spirit stones. All right, there's 10. This is very unlikely, but I've seen crazier things happen. No. Okay. It dies. Now, I'm hoping it blows up. Of course you are. <laughs> I want you to blow up. Don't do it. Yeah, I'm gonna command point that. Do Does I want to command point that? Yeah, he needs a six to blow up. Is there a reason he want to blow up? Because he starts damaging everything around him. And all right, I mean, I'm just saying. Fair enough. I'm just looking for a minute. Uh, faint. Nope, nope. I don't want to command point that. Yeah, Never mind. I wouldn't have either. Um, just if you blew up on a four up like a blow drone, I might do it. But in this case, uh, with you being down to what three? I'm point? down to two command two, points. Yeah, so for really good stuff. Um, all right, so he's gone. That's good. Um, we're gonna go into 
the assault phase. And this is this is very important. Um, Super Assassin gonna charge Dark Reapers. Not charging your HQ over there. Oh, you're gonna pull that shenanigans. Yes. He's gonna okay. You. you need a lot. An 11. Flops over terrain or not. Is he 11 way or 10 away? I'm sorry. You he's are. Not, he only has to be within an inch. I'm making sure. If you have to be within an inch, then you still. Yeah. Actually, you would need an 11. A 10 would put you just out. Okay. So he needs an 11. Um, I'm assuming I would need an 11 to get your HQ as well. Uh, no. He's a 10. I may do a multi charge. Actually, yes, you would need an 11 to get him. Because you're like this much out of okay. needing the 10. Um. Huh. It's a conundrum. Surrounded by Enigma, surrounded by Mystery? Yeah, because I'm probably going to be within an inch of him anyway, which means you'd get to swing on me and I'm going to be able to swing on you because you'd be in combat. So yeah, we're going to do a multi charge. You will get to Overwatch with the uh, Farseer. Okay. Shining Spear. Whoa. Oh. Okay, well. That wound's on a two. It wounded, so you're invulnerable safe, sir. Here we go, assassin. He good. Okay. Ooh, Avengers. Pistol does not hit. Okay. Here we go. You know, I'm feeling good about that Avenger dice. Come back, Avenger dice. Here we go. Here we go. I need this assassin. Let's do it. He got it. Okay. So where are we landing? Um. Right up against your HQ and dudes. Yeah, it makes the most sense. All right. Uh, so, I did him wrong in our last game. He has six attacks base. He gets two extras on the charge, so long as he charged. Um, let's see, what's it called? Uh, add two of the smallest characters if they charge. Okay. Um, I have to choose which one he wants to swing with. And we are going to do... Neuro Gauntlet because he gets three roll failed wounds. Mm -hmm. um, how many Dark Reapers are left over? Seven. I wore, my uh, dude here has six wounds, four to six wounds. Hold on a minute, I'll tell you. He has five wounds. Okay. Um, and an invulnerable save. Two, two and six seems reasonable. Two, six, two, six. <laughs> We're gonna just try and kill them. Splitting them seems dumb. All right, so we're gonna do six, or excuse me, eight into the Dark Reaper. See, so hits okay. on two. Okay. No. Go my gut. Go my gut. Six into. Six into them. Okay. Two. One fail. Um, I believe I should look at this. I believe it's plus one strength. Let me just bring my paper. Up. That is the smart thing to do. All right, so he's plus one strength, so he's at five, some wounding on threes. Yep. And he's some reroll wounds with his nerve gauntlet, which is good, because I failed two. All right, so he got four through, they're AP minus one. Any of these that go through, I'd get to make that many more attacks. Okay, so four, right? Yep. Okay, so three ups. I'm sorry, four ups. Mm -hmm. Come here, you. None of them. All right, so that was... That was what the gamble was for, so four more, twos, woo, three ones. They will live. Let's see if I wound. I do wound, so one. Nope. Okay. All right, now the two into your HQ. Bah, bah, bah. He hits with them. You don't have anything that reduces my to hit, do you? No. Okay. They hit wounded on threes. They both hit, um, should be an involved six, it's minus one. Yeah, four ups. Okay. One. So he gets to make one more attack against him. Hits. Uh, Reroll the wound. All right, so you have one. Yep. Uh, now. What is it, one damage? Just one. Mm -hmm. Just one, okay. And one. then you get to do your things back. Uh, so I would get to consolidate with dude. Uh, yeah, three inches, you get to do your uh, piling. Might as long as, as you're within an inch. Yeah. Boop. Alright, so... 
This is why I hate assassins. I really like him. Um, I did not bring the anti psycho one because I feel like that would be a little too cheeky against Eldar knowing I'd play him, but I think he's really cool and he give, he fills a void that this army doesn't have. Alright, so two attacks from the uh, Dudikins here, mm -hmm. his guide. Ranged weapons, okay. Uh, never mind. Yep. And then the other dude's spear. How many attacks does he have? Probably at least two. Two attacks. Fair enough. Spear hitting on twos. Both hit. Woo. Woo. Wounding on twos. Both wound. All right, here we go. Two four ups. Uh, we're going to use uh, Azrael's once per game reward. Don't let me do that uh, again. I'm used to. All right, so um, end of the turn, two things. One, they will have morale. Two, so you know with your far I don't want to catch you with a gotcha. If you fall out of combat with him, crazy stuff happens. Um, what's this called? Each time an enemy model is slant, no, that's the extra attacks. Uh, if he's killed, he explodes. Um, and there it is. Each time an enemy unit uh, falls back while they're within one inch of them, that model can immediately, I, I can immediately shoot you. Okay. Um, yeah, so he might not kill you. The pistol's one damage, but just in case you want to get your far shear out so you know. So morale. He dies. Yeah, even with rerolls, that would have been tough. All right, so going into the end of the turn, we've got objective three. And um, I'm working on four. This will be one turn on four. Working on not one setback, and we got big game hunter. So that'll put us up to five. And we'll be going into Eldar turn two. All right. So uh, yeah, that happened. Um, Eldar turn two, by the way. <laughs> Eldar turn two, by the way. Uh, of the ones I generated, I still have supremacy and defend objective four. Dep objective four is this cluster gaggle. The other two he, he um, pulled, he got... Uh, defend objective six. Which was easy, so we had him yep. pitch that. So over here. And the other one was uh, launch a charge with the craft world, which he's definitely, for sure, probably easily going to do. Yep. And um, so I got supremacy instead. And since he made my objectives harder to do, I made his harder to do. Mm-hmm. All right. We'll be back after the movement phase. Okay. All right. So for movement, um, these bros moved up. I tried to advance them. They only got an inch. So it is what it is. My uh, Spirit Seer came back here. Fire Prism moved over to control this objective. I did not fall out of combat with the assassin, pain in the ass that he is. That he um, is. This dude advanced and got up here on this objective. I dropped my Autark back there to get a hold of that objective. And then these dudes are uh, down here uh, attempting to hopefully murderize some Space Marines. Um, and at the end of his movement, when I, we've gone ahead and taken care of everything. Uh, first and foremost, he's for sure, unless something catastrophic happens, getting supremacy this turn. I thought it'd be hard for him. Uh, the only thing it really did was force his Altar over here out of position. Ideally, he'd want to be with the Guardians, but um, getting the objective points right now is probably good. Uh, but at the end of the movement, I do have the option to auspex his Guardians, and I probably should, um, Which so we're going to go ahead and do that. That'll be two command points. That'll drop me down to five. Um, I don't think I've gotten one back this turn. If I screw that up, YouTube, let me know, but I don't think I've gotten one this phase. I think I got it during turn one. Uh, but someone will let me know. Unless you remember, do you remember? I don't think I did. Doesn't matter, didn't get one back. So we're down to five, and we're gonna go ahead and attempt to unload with some dudes over there. So um, we're gonna start off with the uh, plasma guns from the sergeant and the bro. No overcharge, there's no need. Hit on force because all specs reduces it by one. And this will wound on twos because strength's empty. Alright, so you'll have two AP minus three. Do uh, they have an eight in No. Try to take it on the weapon platform, which Whoops. is three up, which will give it a six. He, has, he has two. I would almost tank those on bolters. Oh, wait, I know it got... sucks losing dudes. I've got bolters coming through. Mm. Yeah, I mean, it sucks losing two guys, but um, he's going to have a two up versus their five. Um, and this being on six would probably kill it. Watch, this is gonna go south and I'm gonna look like a dick. I hope it doesn't stop. Alright, um, so here are the bolter rounds. These will hit on threes. And Baba. <laughs> um, 
Well, that was the gamble. I got two. <laughs> I thought you said they hit on threes. Uh, fours. Oh, okay. Yeah, so they don't hit on threes because the negative one from all specs. So I got two, two out of fourteen. <laughs> oh man, um, and one wound. So yeah, you could tank that on the heavy weapon. You didn't lose it. It's fine. There you go. So that, that probably actually worked oh, wait, out. For the minus one AP. No, no negative AP. Okay. Now. Yeah. All right. So they're fine. They're dead. All right. So psychic phase. Um, Farseer is going to attempt to smite because, well, why not? And obviously he's going to be having yep, to smite the assassin. assassin. Uh, smite goes off. And I was in range with a seven denial. Correct. Yes. All right. We're going back down, folks. Here we go. Brother Nabil, on the field, will you do something? Please do something. Did he roll double ones? Oh, oh, perils. He's not He's not actually casting Psychic Damn. Power. Yeah. Well. All right, so D3 more wounds. No one's too excited about his failure. One wound. Um, I have a Super Psychic in Bone Safe. Ready, guys? Uh -huh. Just kidding, I don't have one. All right, so he's got one wound on. And do, do, do. here comes the UFO puck. If you want to keep track of him, Pew! and then he will attempt to cast Doom on that unit. Oh man! It goes off with the seven. All right, Brother Nabil's going to try and deny this. Yeah, yeah. Where did my right. Doom card go? We have failed. Um, Doom seven. Doom. Okay, Doom. Right. And Are you an invader's in I don't think I can. I am. Well, at least I know the song. I don't think I can cast Smite again. Not from him. Not from him. Okay. You can't cast the same power. All right. And then we will. Have, can he cast three? I've got a stratagem that would allow me to cast another one. But this one would be guide and. Can he guide them? Are they within 24 inches? Yeah, they are. <laughs> yes. That's probably pretty good. A yeah, lot of I'm gonna try to. to me, which is reroll wounds, reroll into his. Try to guide. Yeah, do, 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 do. It goes off. And uh, how many was that? Just one command point. Yes. Yeah, that's that's one command point well spent. You spent one command point um, to be able to reroll all failed hits. This dude is gonna try to jinx somebody. Choose an enemy unit within 18 inches. Doesn't say I have to have line of sight. Right. So I can either doom somebody, or I can try to protect my dudes. Uh, Hellblasters are within 18, and um, everything over here. So actually, they're really, all my stuff's within 18, yeah. except for maybe Nabil. Uh, Nabil's probably within 18. Woo! I'm sorry. Just break stuff. Sorry. Just break it. Sorry. Wraith blade down. And now it's back up. At least it was a pewter. I didn't break it. That's <sighs> the one advantage to plastic models. Well, they're also easier to assemble, mostly. Yeah. Um, okay, we're gonna try to doom the uh, I'm sorry, Jinx. The uh, what's Jinx do? Jinx is minus one to your saves, period. End of story. Who are you trying to kill? Uh, I, that's the problem. They're two wounds a piece, they're two wounds a piece, they're one wound a piece, but in theory, I should be able to kill them with what I've got coming at you. Okay, uh, so you got what 18 dudes left over alive? Yeah. So, they and, get, what, two shots piece? Yeah, and one's going to be shooting the missile launcher, so... Okay, so hang on. The missile launcher gets how many shots? D6 on what I'd be shooting. Versus him shooting two shots himself. Yes. Okay, yeah, yeah, so it's a gamble. Uh, re-rolling, failed the hits, re-rolling wounds, and essentially, if you jinx them, you knock me down to a four-up save mm -hmm. on them. If you jinx these... Um, so... If, it would be a five up invulnerable save for what I'd be shooting at them. What are you shooting at them? Probably those guys. What's the negative AP? Minus one or three, depending on which shot I do. Okay, because I'm also in cover, so it's probably going to be about the same. Yeah. Um, hitting these guys, which have a four pinball, knocks them down to five. Uh, it really just depends on what you want to delete, to be honest with you. Yep. Um, not to try and coerce you into doing it to the um, Tactical Bros, but if you did do it to them, they're probably dead. Because uh, you're taking off 16% of my saves. Yeah. Let's see if I can even cast it first. To do, and we'll go with the yeah, other they need to die. Yeah. If dudes. you had enough to kill the Hellblasters outright. Uh, no. Fails miserably. Fair enough. 
Doesn't matter. I didn't have enough to kill the Hellblasters outright. YouTube right. land, let us know your theories, or your strategy. Would you have jinxed if you could have these, these, or those? Do you outright kill a unit, or do you uh, kind of do a little bit of crippling? I guess technically, maybe, if you had enough, you could have done it to the bikes if it went off and maybe cleared them, because there's only five of them. Uh, but YouTube, let us know. All right. So, that being done, uh, they are going to shoot at... Um, He's got one wound left. Would you like to do the Guardians first? Because yeah. then if, like, there's a couple yeah. stragglers, you may give you up a shot a little bit. Because he's only got the one wound. All right, so how many shots have I got? That should be all of them. Yes. Okay, so one guy, two, three. So you're four, firing, five, what, 17? Six. And then seven, the heavy weapon? Eight. Yes. Cool. He has. I have one command point. Nine. So we'll do nine, and then eight, and then we'll do the heavy weapon. So assault two. They hit all threes? They do hit on threes. You guided them, so reroll fails. Uh, which is better than what you're all talking about. Let's see, we're going to give you rerolls of the ones. Yep, so all those hit. Nice. Do, 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 do. That is cocked. Failed. Okay. All right. Then we got all those. These are all simultaneous YouTube, so we're just gonna roll the wounds now. Strength four, toughness four. Of course. Uh, make sure you pull sixes because I think those rend. They do, but I gotta pull my rerolls first. All right. So just so I know, Doom. you got two sixes. So that way, so it far. One, two. Ooh, 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 three more. Four. And okay, so you have five at minus three, and then six regulars. Okay. So five at minus three. My poor boys. What are we gonna do? We gonna try and not die. Alright. So you said five minus three, six regular? Um this I don't, I don't like this odds, Bob. Alright, here we go. Five at minus three. Six ups. I can feel it. I can feel it. Um, quick, Bob. I rolled five sixes. Mm-hmm. Alright, um, so that's five. Six regulars. I failed to. So I lose seven out of nine, which means the two special weapons will live. Well, don't remove them yet. I'm still shooting at them actively. Oh, that, right. that was my first volley. These are the other bros that hadn't shot yet. I just rolled the wounds because I was running out of dice. Clever. You see that, YouTube? He gave me a small amount, an iodum of happiness. Those bros are going to die anyway. I'm going to remove them from the table. Now watch. I'll remove these and he'll roll like somehow miraculously poop. And they will live. Giving him sixes. What you got? Uh, one, two, three, sixes. Well, we get it. Ha! They did. <laughs> no! Okay. Well, object four. You have pulled me off of it. I'm not going to have it for two turns. It's pretty good. I mean, it's denying me a point. But did me denying you two points. Uh, it is only one control point. Roll me for two. If you defend, oh, hang on. it's two points. I don't have defend. I have secure. Oh, well, then you should have scored it. Hang on. Let me make sure. Um, I think you made me pitch four. I didn't say it, so I'm not going to do it. But the missile launcher would have shot at your, your tanky. So. Uh, would you have declared it before? Yes. Okay, go for it then. Okay, so... Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and fix that then, because that should be good. Let's go with... Uh, sorry, it's just strength know. eight shot, see what happens. Hits. Strength eight versus... Three. So you need to wound. Six. So I wrote, I've wounded you. Eight one. Uh, it's the missile launcher. It is minus two. Really? Yep, minus two. Alright, so three, four, five, so five, here we go, five up. 
Oh! Six. The tank. Doing things. Uh, he's gonna shoot this. Well, no, he's gonna shoot into the biker bros. So, do you actually have defend objective four? Did you? Hold yeah, that? I, I do have defend objective well, four. This guardian's gonna be annoying. All right. Um, Who? He's shooting at the bikers. He advanced. He has an assault weapon. Those are assault oh, weapons. Oh, so negative one. Yes. Correct. Correct. Shoot him up, Bob. Well, a little better than I thought it would. All right, so strength six. Put it on three. Uh, one. All right, here we go, bros. We're gonna roll this over here, next to the dudes. Bro er, Brother Martinek, squad leader. Tell the grenade launcher not to die, please. You have failed in your one job, Brother Martinek. You let him die. Now they have to take a morale test. Um, they are immune to morale. Now you tell me. Sorry. Okay. Yeah, it's their thing. Would you have tried with something else? Uh, no, because I, I need. I think that was I need, probably a good trade -off. I need to clear them. Yeah, that, I probably would have tried that. So that's I mean, it. killing a tactical bro. Yeah. And it was one. It does one damage. Yeah. Yeah, you would have killed a tactical bro or wounded hell blaster. That was probably your best bet. Uh, these five bros are going to shoot at the tactical marines because <laughs> I don't. I can't kill your hell blasters. With them, if they could even see them. Yeah, that's it. They're in the building, so that's why yeah, I'm shooting at them. That. Yeah, the um, question was, do you want to invest anything in that? <sighs> the problem is, I have to roll sixes to wound him. Fives. Oh, I'm sorry, fives. All right, I'll do two shots into the seven. tank. I you're hitting a four. Yeah, so two shots into the tank. Well, they both hit. You get a six here, and it doesn't matter. No sixes, but one wound. There we go. All right, Rhino. Razorback, that should have been a rhino because I cheated, I'm sorry. He did. See if he explodes. Please, please, please. He doesn't. It it were it, it rolled. It was like Damn. six, six, do, 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 and it rolled for him. Alright, so he's dead. Then the other three dudes are shooting in the yep. tax squad. And someone on YouTube nice back, he didn't say it before. I knew what he wanted to do. They all hit. Uh one, one mortal wound and addition to a normal wound. So one mortal. So armor save. Yeah. Good, and we're gonna lose a bro, uh, and we're just gonna take dude in the back. Okay. Um. Dude here. Looking at the fire person. Yeah. Yep. He is going to shoot at. There, there. You just have so many high value targets. Very annoying. You have cleared out a decent amount of targets this um, He's going to do the disperse shot, which is D6 sh shots, and he's going to fire at. Is it one ah, damage a piece? It's one damage a piece, so I'm thinking your tactical yeah. bros are the better it's choice. It's a tough choice, but you could clear them. You, so, two D6 shots because I'm shooting twice. Really, YouTube? Okay, that, that's not... No, we're not doing the one that landed in the building. Uh, okay, five. Is it 2d6? It's two, yeah, I'm shooting it twice. Got it, I got it. Okay, so you rolled a little bit low. I did, and then I rolled that. You did. The dice have betrayed you. Strength six. So one wound. Oh, My, yeah, minus one. Alright, here we go. Here we go. <coughs> Guy reloaded. Ooh, he did. Okay. Uh, and I can't have range on anything else. So, he's there, he's there. He have anything he can do? Uh, no, his gun is all six inches. Okay. So that's a big negatory. Um, Farseer. We're, we'll go into the combats. Did you, are they in range of anything to assault? Uh, yes, but I would need like. If they're uh, within twelve, I would need an eleven. Uh, are they within twelve of the tactical bros? Mm, that guy is. Uh, you're on eleven right now, so yeah, yeah, you you you've got it now. The issue becomes actually getting there. Yes, you'd have to. Um, you would be taking some Overwatch, but the question is, do you want to risk it? Because if you roll well, you're in there. If not, I'm going to shoot you next turn anyway. So. Risk it for the biscuit. Yeah. Yeah. Because I mean, um, probably this guy's in 12. He might be just out. We'd have to check it, but... So yeah. I would need an 11. Oh, no, I advanced them. I can't charge. 
That's correct. You just moved so so short. I didn't. I, yeah. I forgot. Kelly wrote one. Yeah. Fair so enough. I can't charge. Cool. We were about to cheat. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, so All right, so Farseer, two attacks into your dude. Let's do it. They both will hit. Looking good, looking good. They both wound. All right, here it is. Assassin bro. Assassin boy. Here you go. I failed one. Um, let's go ahead and command point reroll. He passes. Do I get my command point back? It'd be nice. I do. All right, so we are still at four. Uh, my attack's back. Wait, my command, my dude's on the table. I could try. Did I command point something? At some point, um, I think I did. What all did you have? That you used one command point to be able to use a second psychic power. He was on the table. Yeah, go for Let's it. See if I get it back. Nope. Okay. It's worth a shot. All right. So his six attacks into you. It's not eight this turn because he did mm -hmm. not charge. All right. So um, you know, re rolls. He does hit on twos. Make sure. So one, two, one. I'm pretty sure he does. Weapon's going too close. Alright. Um, same weapon he always uses, so he's going to be moving on threes, three rolling, and Alright, so you're going to have five AP minus one. And well, this is the one if they go through, I make a Invuln save, so. Yep. Alright, so make three additionals. Alright, he's, and he's still alive before that. He's goes. still alive if you do one damage a piece. Alright, so two uh, hit. Two wounds. I normally don't have dice floppy dots. Now he's dead. All right. Um, now this particular bro gets to consolidate uh, six inches. Okay, where do you want to go? Uh, he has to go towards the nearest enemy unit, which I think is probably over here. Uh, yes. Yeah, so if you just move me six inches, roughly. Yep. Cool. All right. So, do, 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 do. what we got happening at the end of the turn? Uh, well, you got to take a morale check. Uh, on these bros? Yes. Only lost one. No. Thought you lost two. No, 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 hang on. I have seven there, so I lost two. Uh, on a six, I still would pass. Okay. Because they have uh, an eight foot circuit. All right, D3 victory points. Two. So cool. I'm up to a whole three. Um, that's gone. I'm gonna ditch the rest of these. You're gonna just ditch one per turn. Yeah. Unless they change it. I think it's one. We'll ditch psychological warfare. Because that's morale. Yep. Um, for the record, as they've gone ignored, psychological wise, I do got scouts up there. They do, but I have other targets that are more pressing. Fair enough. Fair enough. Um, all right, so I think we're gonna be going into what? Dark Angels turn three? Yes. All right. All right. So going into Dark Angels turn three, we do have some Eldar kind of uh, pushing in, but I think I've got enough critical mass right now I'll be able to kind of um, fight back. Starting out with objectives, um, I pulled three because uh, you guys might have noticed in the last turn I mentioned it. Uh, I had read my objective card wrong. I had, unless somehow I screwed up previous turns, so I had secure objective four present, not defend. Uh, so we went ahead and, and uh, tallied that up. Uh, but I he let me keep blood and guts. Defend Objective 1, and he uh, allowed me to keep Defend Objective 6. How kind of him, because I'm totally going to get that one over there. Um, he had me pitch Supremacy, which was definitely doable. Um, within some reason, if I clear this guy. Probably. Actually, no, my scouts are up there, so we'd be able to do it. He got, had me get rid of Scout of the Skies, because he has a Flying HQ and his Flying uh, Fire Prism, which with Hellblaster is a pretty easy kill, and Witch Hunter, because my Assassin's probably going to come around the corner back here and would be easily um, uh, come after his HQ. So. Got rid of the easy ones and left me with ones that are a little bit harder. And by having the defend objective one, he has a um, couple of turns to try and deal with it. Uh, so going into that, we're going to have some movement and we'll be back with that stuff. All right, so we've got our movement in. The uh, hell blasters on the bottom floor moved up. These guys should reasonably be able to see down on Kitty Kitties. Um, Azrael moved up like a half an inch. Uh, Brother Nabil moved up a little bit. Our uh, bikers ran this way towards the Guardian Blob, and our tactical rows are coming to intercept his Warwalker. Is that correctly? Yes. Warwalker. All right, so we're going to go ahead and cast some psychic powers real quick, though. Uh, I'd like to cast my um, Righteous Repugnance on the bikers. Okay. They get it with an 11. I'm not even going to try. Yeah, I, I think that's a good call. Uh, and we're going to cast a version on the Wraith Blades, which I think I got the name right, too. Here we go. 
Uh, a five, which I think is going to fail. It needs a six. Um, not worth the command point. Because I am down to four and uh, should be down to two. Hang on. Two. What's that important thing called? No, I didn't advance. There, I'm done. Off camera, we discussed advancing my bikers to charge. I did not advance them. Dumb. All right, so we're going to be going into shooting things? Mm-hmm. Um... I think like two of these can probably see him, maybe. Can that guy see? You think? I, I don't think he can. I don't think he can. If you do the model, yes. Not the the guy can't, but the, his wingtip back here can see one okay, of the so feet. Some, some yeah. reasonable, actually. All right, so it's probably more like these two can probably see. Those two probably can't. Okay. All right. Um, let's go ahead and fire two plasma talents into Bro Bro here. Okay. And the other two will be into... Actually, do I... Ooh, if I do that, you might take the front line. Uh, whatever. We'll, we'll do some damage. We'll do what we gotta do. Alright, two into Warwalker. Here we go. Use the stratagem. Celestial Shield, four up and vulnerable save on them. See if you get your command point back. No, yeah. Because you haven't got one in this face. You do! Yay! Alright, here we go. So, um, the four shots into yep. Warwalker. Ooh. He has a five up and vulnerable save. I'm not gonna overcharge. Don't wanna overcharge. Thank God I didn't overcharge, and thank God for Azrael. So he was on six. Hold. They're on six. All right, just make sure I wasn't going to cheat you. All right, so, and his toughness is what, eight? Mm, no. It's oh, I'm thinking of Wraith Lord, maybe. You're thinking of Wraith Lord, yeah. yeah. War Walker is six. six. So wounded on threes. You got two AP minus threes. All right, so two five up and vulnerable saves. Made one, lost one. She's one damage, that's it. Okay. And the two guys into the Guardians. We roll the one fail. Woo, come back here. All right, the hit. These will be wounded on twos because strength seven. So you will have four invulnerable saves. All right. Made two, lost two. And that's pretty good. Pretty good. All right. Um... Let's go ahead and fire Tactical Bros into the Warwalker. We're going to overcharge the Plasma. Okay. I'm um, not going to use a stratagem. We'll throw one grenade and the rest of you vultures. So, Sergeant. He hits. Thank God. He hit. All right. So, we're in good shape on those. Uh, grenade. That hits. And actually, how many do I have left? Four Bros. Three. Yeah. Two. One. Four. I can do math, YouTube land. I went to school. I learned things. All right, vultures. Um, Reroll the fails. All right, so you said he was a six, yeah? Yes. Okay, so fives to wound. All right, get those out of there. So I'll just put these to the side. So it's one. Um, we'll roll the plasma together. These will be wounding on threes. And this one will be wounded on four good strength six. Nope. All right, so you have one normal save, two invulns. And the invulns are two damage piece. Uh, the invulns, nothing. The other one, saved. Cool. So he's down to one wound. All right. Um, Scout boys are going to shoot into your guardians. I th okay. think they're probably all within 12. Sure. Yeah, okay. Just making sure on the back. Um, they're probably not going to do much. So, four, eight, and pistol. Here we go. Shooting, no rerolls. I rolled that over. It was a three. And these will be wounded on threes. Yep, yeah, strength four, tough as three. Okay, that actually flattened out. Uh, so there's that three. That's a pretty good roll. Mm-hmm. All right. Um, and yep, moving the front line. That's going to bring us into Hellblaster territory. Um, we're going to overcharge and stratagem. I, I need to kill them, otherwise they're going to come through. And if they get to Azrael, you'll kill him. Okay. 
Um, all right, so stratagems me one point. Did I get my point? We're in a new phase. Okay, point back. Did I get it? I do. All right. Um, and they're going to overcharge. And it looks they all should be, actually. I may have at least one guy. This guy can't see him, so he's going to have to shoot over there. Because, like, from his head to this box. Yeah, it's probably like two. All right, so we'll have two guys into the fire prism. And then the... Yeah, so two and eight. Okay. All right. Handful of dice. The two that can see the fire prism. You don't have any negative things happening to me, yeah? No. Okay. No, I need another command point for that. Okay, roll on the fire prism, and then these uh, will just go down the line and hit these guys. Okay. Whoop. All right, two. Fill one coming. Well, apparently all my bad rolls with Adam in my last game are now being recouped against you, Bob. Because these guys are going ridiculous. Alright, all those hit. So I need to wound the fire prism, which tough to say? Seven. Okay, so threes. Uh, you have two invuln saves if you got them. Or save your minus four, whatever you might have. No, don't have anything. Spear stones? We have to roll your damage first. It's flat three. Oh. So it's six total. Alright, so. Save one. one. Yep. Yeah. So that's five. So he won't die because I have Woo! nothing left to shoot at him. Okay, now the other ones, your uh, Wraith Blades are toughest five? Uh, six. Okay. So I will be wounding on threes but not twos, which is pretty big. Um, let's get the ones and twos out. Okay, and they have an invuln save, right? Yeah. Okay. So we have five, ten, there are twelve. And they're three damage each, so. Okay. And then they'll be done. Hellblasters did Hellblaster you think. think that's going to be all the shooting. But you still got him if you want to shoot him. Mm. I always forget he's even got a pistol, to be honest. Uh, yep, so one shot, hit no twos. And it wounds on threes, and he gets to re-roll if he fails. Alright, it's AP minus one, just one damage. Uh, four pin and save, because I'm assuming you're shooting my dude. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Failed. Your HQ actually, is your HQ closest? That's a good question. Mm, we will for now, so he is. Okay. So I think he would be. Um, so, charges. We'll do the assassin first. Would you like to overwatch me? Uh, yeah, yeah, hold on. Yep. Nope. Alright. Um, if I roll triple ones, he might actually fail. We'll see. We tried to roll triple ones, Bob. I rolled two mm -hmm. ones on four, so he'll make it. And Biker Bros, you got some Overwatches with Guardians. Yeah, let's see. Blast me two, up. Two, four, six. Yeah, that works. Actually, would you one, have wanted to three, take one of those shots from three? My junk on the heavy. No. For sure, because if it was wounded, yeah. you still have a guy left. I'm okay with that. I mean, that's you yeah. ideally would have done that. That's the whole point yeah. of it. Um, and yes, one, it probably, two, three, if it was like a bolter from four, a scout, you'd be okay. Uh, okay. So I'm going to roll these twice. Anyway, <laughs> shooting at your Is your guide last, um, mm -hmm. last? To your next psychic phase. Yep, yep. so they get the reroll and fails. Which is going to be a bunch. Six, seven, eight. Not bad. Yeah. Bless you. And were you holding one for the uh, heavy? Uh, yes. So the heavy will get six shots. Uh. These are only strength four, though. 
So one from him, re-rolling. Will this all, can this also rend? No, this okay. this can't. So. All right. So if you want to go ahead and roll that single wound first, because it won't rend. All right. And then mm. you have eight that can rend. Yep. You will need fives to wound. One, one six. Uh, is it rend or is it mortal? It's rend. All right, and that's AP minus one three. Yes. Okay. Um. All right, so it's got to be the back guy because he has any bone safe from Assy. The rest of the unit does not, and he fails. So back guy is wounded. Burp. And let's go and get some charges. Charge distances in. Uh, four won't do it. But I'm not confident even if I re-roll that I could get it because on an average roll of a three or four, I might give me that. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not gonna command one because I don't think I'll make it. <laughs> All right. Uh, so at the ooh. Assassin. Well, yeah, we haven't. We charged him. We just haven't done anything. Yeah, it's yet. totally free. I was about to be like, at the end of the turn. All right. If your HQ lives, isn't it miraculous? Here comes uh, his re-roll woundy, stabby thing, whatever that thing's called. Uh, all right, so they all hit. Wounded on threes. Re-roll mm -hmm. fails. All right. So you got seven. And this is the same one I get dead. Make extra tax on that jazz. He's dead. All right. Um, and he was my warlord. Not that it will matter, but he will consolidate. You can back out, but your tank will get to swing on me. Because I consolidated into him. Your hover tank will hover into my assassin's base bomb. I uh, still have three attacks. To hit on sixes? Yeah. Okay. Got one. <laughs> Oh, man. Strength six. One wound. You're wounded. All right, Assassin. If you get hit by, like, one of the little, like, wings on this thing. He did. Is it one damage? Yeah, it's, a, it's one damage. I consolidated you and poke his eye. Fair enough. The good news is, is if you somehow back away from me, I get to shoot you once with a pistol that won't hurt you. Um... On you're, on, you're on two damage because I had done a mortal wound to you before. Oh, yeah, you had the thing. Fair enough. Cool. That's yours. I thought that he had moved on. All right, so end of the turn. Um, guess who doesn't have defend objective six? Um, I am still on defend objective one, so we'll put a dice on that because this will be one turn holding it. Uh, blood and guts. Um, I did kill one unit in the fight phase. Just one point. Whoop. It puts me up to seven. Um, and I had chose... Um, Get my dice right here. Uh, two turns for not one step back. So I will get D3. Here we go. Here's going to be a one or two. Yep. One point. Boop. All right, Bob. So I'm going to pitch objective six because there ain't no way I'm getting that. Even if, yeah, I'd have to run something far over there. So. All right, so we'll be going into Eldar turn three. All right, so we're going into Eldar turn three, and what objectives did you pull? Um, so I pulled Obscure Objective six and Hidden Path. So with Hidden Path, I need to roll, well, and if I there. get a five, I get one. That is not a five. There are enemy models within th twelve inches of that, so that objective cannot be scored. There oh, we go. right. Um, and then over here on six. Depending on what he does, my assassin might be able to wiggle, shiggle some shenanigans to get on top of it during the mm -hmm. assault phase. We'll see what he might be able to do. Um, so, at any rate, that's it. We'll be back after the movement phase. All right, so Bob has moved his stuff, and because I'm a noob, um, I can tell it into his tank, which is a valid strategy most of the time, unless said tank has fly. So he's backed away from my assassin, who's now ass in the wind, but I do get to shoot him when he leaves with a pistol with a dragon on it. No, you don't. You rolled a one, ladies and gentlemen. There's no dragon on it. <laughs> All mm -hmm. right, so carrying on with Bob's shooting phase, what are we doing? Uh, I moved this guy over here. This guy came up to give them the buff. They moved in to secure objective four. My rangers, without moving, already secure objective six. Barely, huh? Yeah. Um, this guy, technically now, Azrael and the Psyker are the closest targets. 
we could make an argument for the Hellblasters. Uh, if you uh, position it properly, you might have been able to make it equidistant where you could choose. Yeah. So, yes. So, at any rate, shooting. Um, big surprise. They're going to... Oh, yeah, psychic face, done. Um, <laughs> they're going to shoot at these rows because the it seems like a good choice. Throw your ninja stars at them. Two. Yes, so we'll roll these guys, and then the, the missiles will roll separately, but they will be shooting the same unit. Don't do it. Rerolling only the ones this time. One success off that. How many hits you got? I can keep track. I'm just going to roll the wounds now. It's oh, just no easier. No sixes, please. No sixes. We don't want this to happen to us. Uh, one, two, three, four, five sixes. Five sixes. And Seven then six. three. What's your toughness? Five. So uh, fours will not wound you. Then two other regular wounds. So five sixes? Wait, three other regular wounds. Three wounds, five sixes? Yes. All right, so here's the deal. I got to check some distances. Brother Azrael, who's in range? All right. I think I think that guy's barely in. Bob, well, he was in last time. Well, I've got, I'm thinking this other guy might be. Will you check and verify from my base to this guy in front of him? Is that his base or his wing? From his base. Yeah, his base. base is in. Okay, so base to base. All right, so I have two inside in Volmer range, and you said five that were... The Minus three. three. All right, so we'll do these one at a time. This guy, actually, we'll do three. Uh, if I fail one, um, guy in the back will come off. If I fail more than one, we'll start bleeding wounds over, because they have involved. So here's first three. All right, pass two, fail one, so guy in the back's dead, and two more. All right, so uh, hang on. Let me do math here. Dead, just enough to kill the other guy. Okay, so you kill two. And then you had, what, three regular ones left? Yes. All right, Brother Martinek, you're in the nude now. Here we go. I can feel it. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Brother Martinek, you are by yourself. Your squad has fallen around you. I'd say bloods and guts, but, you know, Space Marines coagulate. Yeah. Right, so it's just like chunky blood. And here goes the other seven shots. I'm sorry, Brother Martinek. I've tried to save you. Oh, you shouldn't have failed your charge, Bartinek. That's the problem. Yeah, you failed charge. You can't get shot if in melee. Okay. No sixes. Come on. I have one six and one other wound. All right, and it's AP minus three? Yes. All right, so six up. Ultramarine bros. They got you back. They don't. Ugh. Here we go. Oh, Martinek is alive with so, one wound. So, missile launcher shooting D6 shots. Oh he gets three. Uh, you're rolling the one. Still fails. Strength four. One wound. Okay. Minus one. Martinek. Four up. Here it is. <whistles> do, do, do. He's good. Barely. Okay. Martinek. One wound. You're alive. Range, you pistol. Yeah, no, I'm just trying to see how many shots <laughs> it's like it a is. It is, a, it is a fusion pistol. Martinek, you're going to get hit again. In your defense, Martinek, if you're watching this, Ravenwing Black Knights in the fluff, they have a very high attrition rate, but they die with honor. So. All right, so hits. Looking for that one. It's a strength eight. One. Ew, it does. Wounded. It's minus four, and it does d6 damage. Well, if I had the music, I would totally play like the the music they played at the funeral. But sorry, you, you, you could play the really sad music from the Hulk when he's walking away all the time. Mm. Brother Martinez, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. All right. Well, then this guy is going to shoot at the unit of tactical. Well, no, these guys. Eh. No. He's going to shoot at the tactical marines. Tactical bros getting shot by this weird walker. Reroll on the one. Still misses. String six. Moving on threes. One wound. Can you hit me? No. All right. Here we go. Will they live? Oh my god. It was a six, then it was a two. <sighs> Story of my life. All right. Which tactical bro wants to go? Meeny, miny, something, mo. 
You got shot by that stupid Eldar foe. Dead! Gene seed all the ground. What's your or your leader's toughness? Four. Okay. You got like five no. or six wounds, four minimum. Alright, so I can't shoot the gun twice. You got six wounds. All right, we're going to shoot the D3 shots with the cannon into your boss man, and then the four from the little spider pistol thing at the bottom of him into your boss man. So D3 shots. Azrael is a boss man. Two. He is a boss. All right. And hit, command point reroll that one. Of course. Back. I think this is nope. Place. All right. Glad I could be wrong. So strength nine. It's it's wound. If you don't save it, it's D three wounds. All right, Asriel. Here it is. Quick look, Bob. Okay, how much is it? Roll one. Give me one. Nah. Three. All right, Asriel. You got three wounds on you. Three. All right. Three wounds. Little gun. Will actually do better than the big gun did. Uh, one strength four, one wound at minus three that is in Voln and stuff. Azrael, I need you to not die. Azrael have lived! Well, I mean, he was going to live anyway. All five of the rangers into the assassin. Roll over in here if you want. Like right here, doesn't matter. There you go. That's cocked. Sorry, YouTube land. One of our cameras have died. <laughs> So we're rolling on the table like normal people. Uh, one wound. On the assassin? Yes. All right, here we go. I can feel it right here. A two. He wounded. All right, so it goes to three. And that will be the end of the turn. All right, so we've gone ahead and called it the end of turn three. Uh, I think me and Bob uh, kind of determined that uh, attrition-wise, it, was, um, it wasn't going to really shift back in his favor, most likely. Uh, when we ended, it was a four victory points to eight game, so I'd like to thank you for that. Thanks, sir. Appreciate it. Um, we've been discussing some changes that we could do to my list based on what he owns and what might make the games a little bit closer. Uh, so I think against his Space Wolves, the Assassin might be okay. Uh, I guess his Eldar might reserve that one again and, and use something different. It seemed a little bit powerful. Uh, he made his points back instantly, uh, which was pretty brutal. Um, and as you guys may have noticed at the start of the game, I did not use the Dark Shroud. And I thought, okay, I'll try something a little bit different because I don't have a lot to work with right now with Dark Angels. Um, honestly, with the Dark Reapers being a major threat, the Dark Shroud really doesn't do much. And I, I don't know if it would have done anything, to be honest with you. The Dark Shroud probably would have helped with, with them shooting at things. That's true. It was true. Uh, that guy shooting at things. The It would have helped everybody except the Dark Reapers. It's true. Um, I don't know if it would have impacted enough. Like, I feel like I feel like dropping that Dark Shroud and bringing in the Assassin and netting extra points probably did more for me in this case. If you were to ever go to a competitive event, I would say two Assassins, maybe three. <laughs> 85 points um, are pretty brutal for but, what they do. It, and I would also mix them up a little bit. That guy's amazing. He can get the back line, which is where I'm going to have a lot yep. of my high That's what I struggle with my stuff. Dark Angels. I, can't, I have a hard time getting in the back. Mm -hmm. So and, and he would be a great help for that. Um, there's the other ones that do psychic keys. stuff. Yeah, I forget the names. I really like the Vindicare because he's a sniper. He can, like, nuke characters, which is fun. Uh, probably better against, like, guards and lots of little cheap characters. Uh, with your In your case, it would be hard to get to some of them with his mm -hmm. shots, um, especially because one guy went on the field for multiple turns. Um, the anti-psyker one I didn't take because I feel like that's a little bit too list Taylor. Like, I like the Evisaur. I think that's his name. He looks really cool. I like the skull and his claws and all that jazz, but... If I brought the psychic one, knowing you're playing Eldar, that just feels too cheesy because he shuts stuff down so well. Right. Um, or at least in theory. So I didn't want to do that, but I do like him. Um, but uh, I passed the question off to you guys in YouTube land. If, based on any of you who've watched our tutorial, our tutorials are our battle reports. Based on my Dark Angels tactics and what I use, if there's anything you think would be a good adjustment, whether I could improve or uh, based on what you've seen Bob using and knowing kind of what you've seen with our list, what we own what might make for a closer game. Like, victory points, a four-point game doesn't seem too far, but it was really going to snowball. What could we do? And specifically, um, I think one of the things you struggle with a lot is the Hellblasters. Uh, the Hellblasters, getting them off the table, like, my, my plan had been, had, th had this not been here, which you played it properly, had been the first turn was to try to snipe them off the table yep. with the Dark Reapers, 
realizing that my psychic powers of doom and jinx do not require line of sight. Yes, yeah, that's, that's stupid. That's super um, good. That allows me to, if I ever get a uh, Skyrunner uh, Spirit Seer or Warlock, they can put that out there. That the, even with your invuln bubble, they go to a five up save. Yeah, that's huge. And strength five, I'm going to be wounding on four or on threes. I mean, it's there's a lot of stacks I can do, but that's a huge investment to get rid of the most annoying unit in your list. Your bikers are annoying, but I saw today that technically way to by fire. way to fire, I can do that. Yep. So the next time I come, I should own some. I should have painted my Dire Avengers by then. Um, I hope to have maybe another box of Guardians or two. I haven't decided yet. I think the Guardian um, Blob's great. Like, I had a hard time yeah. clearing them. Even if I got in the Assault, I might have killed like six more. You lose one to your, because your, your uh, craft will use one to leadership. Yeah. And then you're like, cool. Your, 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 your expensive bikes are locked in with me. That's cool. Like, yeah, that's, that's kind of where I'm, I'm at. It's, it's one of those things of I've got to determine what I want to buy and yeah. what I want to play, etc. cetera. Uh, the Fire Prism... I gave it another shot. It's like you were saying with Predators, you need them in threes. Yeah, yeah, just like the, um, so Predators, you want to have three for kill shot, which we discussed off camera, because his Fire Prism's underperformed, I think, every game. Yeah, every game. Um, and I like we just said, I think it falls in line with Predators. It's one of those, like, three or nothing. You could make the argument for a single maybe Predator, but they're way better with the option to kill shot. And with these guys being able to chain link the fire, like, one can see, two can't, and they chain through it, that's mm -hmm. huge. And yeah. especially with, I think, Fire and Fade's any Eldar unit, is that right? Yes. So, yeah, you could pop that thing out, chain the shot, fire and fade away, and then be really annoying. So I, I agree with you. I think three is the way to go. Yeah. Uh, it is a monetary investment, but I think if you want them. And also, while the Hellblasters could point, click, delete it, um, me being able to get the guns to bear with fire and fade, it's the same reason why that Assassin's there to deal with your Dark Reapers. I do not have an answer for mobile units. I can't mm -hmm. get there. Yeah. And even if I had the Assassin to try and assault them, he's not killing one in melee, and then you just fly away. So. Yeah. Uh, he's just a nuisance at that point, so I think that's a good call. It, it's it's one of those things, and there's also the, the three flyers that everybody likes to run. Yep. I'm not trying to run hyper-competitive at the battle reports here. There There is a uh, quick plug. Mace in Charlotte, North Carolina is running yes. an ITC event. Um, the guy who edits the videos can try to find the link and put that in the description below. Um, but they are running an ITC event. It's a grand tournament, I believe. They don't have a whole lot of details about it yet, but it is in November, so if you think about coming to North Carolina for that, quick plug for that. But if you're, if you're just in the area, yeah, if you're in the area, come on down. It's a great, it's a great convention anyway. Um, and they said if 40k does well this year, so if you like 40k, you like following like Spiky Bits and the Long War or or anyone that uh, maybe it's from my gaming as well, anyone who does competitive mm -hmm. stuff. If you like following that and you want to see things grow on that front, and you know my opinion on some competitive stuff, but in terms of growing it as a tournament scene. Come out and support it. Like, if yep. you want to see that grow and see that convention start to support 40K more and you have more offerings to participate, you need to get out and go. Like, that's the only way. Otherwise, they may do like they've done before and they'll try it. If it doesn't work, they'll scrap it and they'll do other stuff. They, they did mention in the post they're going to try to get other 40K, or I'm sorry, Games Workshop games out there to include, and that includes Kill Team, uh, Warhammer Underworlds, or Shade Underworlds, that's huge. That's big. Um, and then uh, there's the new stuff coming out, the Un. About Warcry or something, the the new game. Oh, that's, that's the that's thing that I think it's the fantasy version of Necromunda. I or think so, but they have their own individual war bands that are coming out too. Yeah, um, yeah. or new models for it. So there's yeah, the little want, raven looking dudes look sweet. So yeah. yeah, if you want it to grow, if you want it to be available, come out and support Mace. And also, if you like D and D, if you like anything else, Mace is just like any other gaming convention. There's They're loads doing of this games. Year? They are not going to be doing War Machine this year due to the War Machine community basically dying off a whole lot. And Fair just enough. a quick snippet on that. It has died off. It's still around. You just have to go find it. But for the longest time, War Machine was the big draw for miniatures games. We couldn't produce the numbers anymore. Yeah. And a couple, some, couple of years, the problem was War Machine Weekend was on the same weekend as May. So yeah. War Machine Weekend is the big draw yeah. in St. Louis. St. Louis for all you normal people. <laughs> um, so you it, think our it, viewers are normal, Bob. We're I, all nerds. Yeah, well. Uh, but it sort of died off for that reason, and it went to them. And we just haven't been able to rebuild it, so they took the tables away from us. And I don't blame them. We weren't producing what they needed. If this produces it and continues to grow at least the, the hobbying and gaming tabletop community, I'm all for it. Everybody here knows I love War Machine better than I do Warhammer 40K. It straight up and down, I think it's a better game. But I like the tactical depth a bit better, so yeah. But at the end of the day, if I can't get games of War Machine, 
got to get games. I've got to get games of something. This this is my stress reliever, as we've discussed in chat on Twitch several times. Uh, but Mace is coming up in November. And if you don't want 40K to go the route of War Machine at Mace, go play, support yes. it, do things. Otherwise, even if the game's popular, if it's not there, that's one less thing that's going to be happening. I think the tournament was listed at 32 of a limit, 32 yeah. players. And if... If our local shop pulled in for our last tournament, which was like a, a teams tournament, we had what twenty six. We had we had twenty eight people sign up. Twenty six were there. Yeah, um, and that's for a really small area. So yeah. I'm thinking like, and that's a different kind of tournament too. It was, it was two on twos. But point is, Mace is big, and they've got just a little bit more room than we had, and we had a big showing for for that at a local area. So get in, sign up, and go support it. And then if they have an overflow with so many people signing up, they don't have room, that's a good problem for them to have. Yep. So I think you know. the entry fee for that was $60. It's a three-day event, grand tournament, 2,000 points. The 60 covers your entry into the convention as well. Oh, that's not bad. That's not bad. So that's generally for a full weekend, you're looking at 30, 45 bucks, something like that. Mace organizers, we have plugged the crap out of you. <laughs> Remember us when we ever show up to things. So Remember Death Ray Designs? Banner. Yeah. Banner. Doo -doo -doo. T shirt. <laughs> yes, we're crazy because it's warm and we haven't had water in a little it's, while. It's very hot back here. So, uh, but on that note, uh, folks, hopefully you enjoyed this battle report. Uh, as we have said before, if there's anything we can do to improve, any rules we got wrong, sound off in the comments below. Let us know what we can do. Uh, and uh, again, I apologize for screwing up with the Razorbacks. Uh, that's what happens when you build lists after 2 a.m. and then you come out here and um, you die of dehydration. <laughs> Uh, so, as always, if you enjoy this, make sure you like, subscribe, ding the little bell so you get alerts when we put up new content. And if you'd like to help support the channel, uh, make sure you check out DeathRayDesigns.com. Anything you do over there helps support me, helps keep the lights on, and uh, I like being able to produce content for you guys. So, uh, support Death Ray Designs. That's good. Uh, if you happen to be painting any models or you'd like to interact with myself, maybe Bob, give us some feedback directly instead of in the comments or in addition to. Make sure you check out our Facebook group, The Tap Garrison, where you can interact with painters, hobbyists, gamers, and uh, have a good time. On that note, I'd like to thank you guys again for watching. As always, happy wargaming, and I'll see you guys next time.